and joining me on the news track, international author, actor, speaker and commentator, Kabir Bedi on this controversy around the BBC documentary. Sir, welcome on India Today. Sir, what is your objection to this BBC documentary? You know, um, I am not for bans in general, but I really feel this documentary should be banned for, for the following reasons. One, they have raked up a matter that's 20 years old, that's settled in the Indian courts, put together some inquiry of theirs, headed by Jack Straw, a man totally discredited as a minister, who was a foreign minister in England, who proclaimed that Iraq had weapons of mass destruction and sent hundreds of Englishmen to their death um, by, based on his false assertions and promises. Um, so, this documentary, what does it try to do? It tries basically to discredit the Prime Minister of India, who has been twice elected by a handsome majority of the world's largest democracy. Okay. And they're doing it over an issue that has been long settled in Indian courts, and in a way that is so biased that I just don't believe the BBC could do something like this. So I'm totally opposed to it. Sir, you're accusing the BBC of having a bias. You've also had credibility with the inquiry, with the British inquiry. Why is the credibility of the British probe in question, according to you? Because Jack Straw himself is in doubt. He's the man who lied to the British public, talking about weapons of mass destruction in Iraq, sent England along with Tony Blair into the war, killed God knows how many British young men in that war, and discovered no weapons of mass destruction. So he is a discredited witness to start with. Secondly, okay, this is well, an inquiry conducted by some people sent by him to India. Was it a judicial commission? Was there any official standing to this inquiry? Is it more, is it more um, credible than the decisions reached by the Indian courts? Okay. This issue has long been settled by the Indian courts. And, you know, there were two special investigative teams set up by the Supreme Court during Congress tenure to investigate whether Modi was responsible. Both okay. cleared him. And for Jack Straw to stand up and say he believes, and he can say everything he wants. The, are you hearing me? Loud and clear. Go on, sir. Strength fight. Uh, he can say anything he wants. But if he, he, he is given a star rolling in this British documentary, I question the motives of the BBC in making this because it's a publicly funded corporation. And they have every responsibility. They have every responsibility for the public good. This neither serves the public good in England okay. nor the public good in India.